All right, we got a Explorer 300. It's got a 250 engine in it. Looks to be a 1990, according to the Vintag. But if you're like me, you got the engine out and you want to just check the crank seals to see if they're leaking or not. Um, basically, left the spark plug in. This is a um, PVC fitting. I can explain that. Just a Home Depot um, pressure checker real cheap and then i took a piece of rubber and put it inside hard to see here to put up for the light piece of rubber in there and it's just sandwiched between the exhaust and flanges there so with a little bit of air pressure you know just with a chuck supposed to hold five psi and you can see it just it just drops right away and so kind of hard to do this i got some soapy water and it leaks so fast you can't really see it but put a bunch of soapy water on there and when i put some air to it you'll see it bubble well maybe you can't pick that up very good on the camera here Trying to focus on other things. There you can see it. That was pretty good. See how it kind of blows that soapy water out? Try it one more time here, quick. It's too runny. So. I'm gonna try and replace that seal and we'll check it again quick. And just the method used, just a drill and a screw. And because I don't have my handy dandy helper today, I'm just gonna show you. Just screw that. You don't need to punch it or nothing. Just start screwing and it'll eventually go in. Then take a claw hammer or whatever and just pliers and pull on that and the seal will come right out. This one here was in there pretty good. So I used this homemade puller I can show you the video there for that, but that yeah, worked out really slick. And you can see there the seal, where it's actually bad, but it looks like a couple places here that seal's shot, seal's junk. So it looked good from the outside, but yeah, it wasn't doing shit. So I got the new seal in, and it turned out pretty mint. Cleaned everything up real good, flushed it out. Then I got just some, some gadgets here, kind of space it, put that guy on, put this on, and then pound on it with a socket. And it works, just gotta go slow, make sure you get it straight, it's the best thing you can do. Since I'm doing this one, I'll probably replace the other one, and then we'll fill it up with air and check it out again. PTO side seal is in. Uh, flywheel side. Spark plug, remember that little uh, rubber over the exhaust? And we'll give it a try again here. See what we got. Hang on here. Again, all kind of hard to do with one hand, but. You see, it seems to hold pretty darn steady. It's like maybe some slight drop over time, but she's good. There'll be no issues running this motor. There'll be no air leaks. It'll be pretty solid. Not bad for, oh, I don't know, $15 worth of parts. Quick trip to the store and simple way to test for air leaks. There you have it. So I was a little curious, before we get too far, where that slight, slight drop is coming from. And it looks like around here, don't have a very good seal. Now that tape I used was, was kind of junky tape, but I'm sure if I would fix this, that would hold pressure all night long. Thanks again, take care.